Hi, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Leslie, and today I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect shape loaf and cinnamon rolls and dinner rolls. First of all, we have our bread dough, and it's already been through the first rise, so it's already done that. Now we're going to push it down, and sometimes if the dough is like just won't roll out or anything and you feel like oh you're just fighting with it just let it rest 10 minutes and then come back to it so for this I'm going to divide this into three sections and what we're going to do is we're going to make breakfast lunch and dinner I'm going to do first we're going to do our breakfast rolls and these are our cinnamon rolls we're going to roll them out really good and what I like to do when I'm rolling out bread dough is it can kind of stick sometimes to the counter so we're going to put a little vegetable sharpening down. You can use flour on a, um, a canvas or you can put flour on a board. But I just like to put it on a solid surface. You could use any solid surface and then this way, look at this, how awesome is this? No sticking, it rolls out beautifully. For our cinnamon rolls, super easy. We're just going to spread a little butter on it, and then we're going to sprinkle our cinnamon down. And the cinnamon sugar, always like to keep some already mixed up because it's perfect for making cinnamon toast. And chocolate goes better with it. So we're just going to sprinkle some chocolate chips in our cinnamon rolls today. Okay, I'm going to roll these up. And you'll see how beautifully this comes off the counter. No sticking. I'm going to push the ends in. And we're going to make our cinnamon rolls nice and fat. Just like a one cinnamon roll per person today. So I'm going to put them on our sheet. And we're going to squish them down. So they're a little fatter. Super easy. We got breakfast going. Okay, next is lunch. Lunch is just going to be a simple loaf of bread. I'm gonna push that down, roll it out just to get the air bubbles out. It's air bubbles don't cause any harm, but just like when you're making a sandwich and you've got a big hole in your bread, it is a little harder to deal with. Then we're just gonna roll it up and tuck the ends under it. Put it in our loaf pan. Here we go. And now for dinner. Okay. A little more vegetable shortening on the counter. And my mom's friend Mary Ann taught me how to do these wonderful dinner rolls. And they're really super simple. So I'm going to share this with you. A little bit of butter again. Everything tastes better with butter. And then super simple. Just some brown sugar sprinkled on. And then this has been a family favorite for about 20 years now in my family. So the brown sugar doesn't make it super sweet, but just gives it that nice, nice taste. The kids always love it. Everybody loves them. And with these, we're gonna, they're going to be a little smaller. So lots of times when I'm cutting up a lot, I want to, I divide it up into fourths first and then I start, then I cut them up. So it's all evenly divided. And that one on the end is kind of small, so I'll see if I end up with a little bigger piece and I'll combine it with that later. But basically we just continue and fill this whole sheet up. And then always brush the top of your bread. This is just beaten egg yolk, and this will hold the moisture in and while it rises. Allow it to rise. You want it to rise double, so it will totally be able to help it. And it gives a beautiful sheen afterwards. So you'll see in our next segment how that turns out. But this is how you're going to have the perfect shape loaf. And look at this breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all out of one recipe. So thank you for, for joining me, and I have enjoyed sharing this with you. Thank you.